What's up everyone, Arctic here, bringing you guys a brand new Halo 4 gameplay. Playing some Infinity Slayer, I believe this map is called Simplex. Uh, this is actually the first game I've played on the map. Uh, it's the first time I've played Halo in almost a month now, uh, so it's been a little while. Um, they just released the Forge Community uh, Playlist, which is something... Uh, basically, the reason I was stopped playing Halo is because I got tired of playing uh, non-arena style maps, and um, Forge is really coming through. I told you guys, I think I, I mentioned it a couple times, I was very interested in playing some Forge uh, game type, or I'm sorry, not game types, Forge maps, because I figured they would have a lot more arena style. Um, this particular map has uh, four different areas of the map. There's red, yellow, blue. Uh, in the middle is green, I believe. Uh, I think one side is purple as well. So uh, it's really easy for callouts. Uh, you guys may notice I'm using uh, Promethean Vision, which is uh, going to be my next uh, Halo 4 tips and tactics. And uh, I'm going to get right back into the groove for Halo now that this uh, playlist is out and uh, I'm going to have the opportunity to play something other than Haven. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. But generally speaking, um, you know, I haven't really even gotten that far into the maps. Uh, again, this is the first time I've played this map. Um, I don't know how many maps there are exactly maybe I don't know it's probably like four or something like that I have to read up uh, and see but my initial impressions of uh, everything has been fantastic so far um, and this map played out exceptionally well I got to really get in people's faces uh, the Promethean vision which I guess I'll talk a little bit on now um, is really good in the sense that um, you, you know you get a bearing on where people are spawning after you kill them. Uh, spawn system in Halo is not overly complicated uh, but there are some times when you know you, you spawn and then uh, you know you end up behind someone and, and you kinda be like you're like how did I end up behind the enemy team so uh, Promethean Vision really helps me out in that sense uh, this is really actually a really good way to uh, learn the map um, surprisingly you know I'll see like different dips and, and uh, uh, different verticality uh, differences in where players are as opposed to where I'm at so uh, it gives me a bearing on okay well this guy's gonna flank me in this situation or um, he's going to uh, you know try to you know hit me front with with grenades or something like that in another situation the only thing I've noticed with a lot of people that don't use or I'm sorry that do use uh, Promethean Vision is that they never have their mics in uh, and you know you know other than the fact that I'm playing on a map that I don't know the call out in I mean I have the basic colors uh, down I'm gonna mention this in my tips and tactics if you're using Promethean vision and you're not talking to your team I'm sorry you're doing everyone a damn disservice because uh, you can see everyone on the map for anyone running any other abilities you have the advantage you are the one that needs to be making call outs and if you're not I'm sorry I like I wish I could kick you out of the room because you're totally defeating the purpose of using this especially in a team game um, you know, you're just hogging it all for yourself. So in this game, I'm just basically saying, hey, there's some guys at purple. Hey, there's guys at red. Hey, they spawned at yellow. Um, and that's pretty much how I, I ran with Promethean Vision since I don't know the callouts for this map. I don't, I imagine maybe someone in the competitive community has them all down. But it seems like it's probably uh, P1, P2, uh, you know, R1, R2, and those being the colors. Uh, that's typically how they do those. Um, I wouldn't see it going beyond uh, that too much. They might, you know, call it based off of where power weapons are positioned, but uh, you know, in my opinion, that'd be kind of pointless. Um, now, the other thing that I, I kind of have been doing with this, I mean, if you don't want to use your mic, uh, you, you know, the the only other thing I can mention is, like I said, you know where spawns are, so you can kind of play defensively um, and maybe lead your team to the enemy or away from the enemy <laughs> if they're paying attention to you but uh, that's really only the two uses that I found for it so far um, you know this is I think the third game total I played using Promethean Vision I played uh, back when I first switched from Hardlight which was last month 
And then uh, I was waiting for these new maps to come out. And now I've I played it probably, like I said, two or three more times uh, on a couple different maps. So overall, I think that uh, a, a lot of people will probably get into, um, you know, a habit of, I think they should get into a habit of, if they use Promethean Vision, being able to uh, communicate effectively. So have your mic in. Um, what I was really surprised by in this particular game, you guys are seeing, I'm basically going off right now. Uh, for not playing for so long uh, and then coming back to the game, I was really surprised at how well I did. It's one of those things, this happens almost in every single game that I play, uh, specifically shooters. Like, I'll take a long break and then my first couple games are like, I'm playing like, uh, I can't miss a shot. And you guys, I mean, other than sniping, which... Um, you guys saw me, I was kind of a little off with my, with my sniping with that beam rifle earlier in the gameplay, but uh, it seems like whenever I first get on, it's like, maybe it's like adrenaline pumping or whatever it is, it's like, oh shit, I am on fire. And then as I start playing more, then it's like, oh yeah, I'm rusty. Because then I'll start having like bad games and I can't get out of, uh, you know, dying and repeatedly and... It's just, it's just crazy to me. It happens all the time. So this, this was a perfect game. Uh, I felt like where this is a prime example. I'm, I'm, I'm just on fire. And I know the more I play, um, the less success I'm going to have. So, um, I'm basically going to end this commentary a little short. Uh, we made the other team quit out. Um, you know, this is basically four on two at this point, And, uh, I'm still trying to use Promethean Vision. But I'm just not finding anyone. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I'll let the gameplay finish out. And uh, until the next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace. I may have cut the commentary short, but I'm still here, baby. Check out that Halo 4 video right next to me. Look at all its loveliness. Click it. Go ahead.